So another new program, uh, one year Ontario uh, College Graduate Certificate. Uh, again, if we look at the admission requirements, um, we're probably seeing individuals who have, um, again, some, some education at the post-secondary level, could be in a wide variety of areas. Uh, we're anticipating perhaps some business individuals, maybe science background, agriculture background uh, in terms of their education. Um, or we're also uh, anticipating we're going to see some folks who have um, work experience that are now just looking to upskill uh, in the areas of, uh, you know, perhaps finances, some technology uh, related to agriculture. The career opportunities, again, are pretty wide uh, in this, or we're anticipating they'll be pretty wide. So obviously, agriculture will be a primary industry where, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, our graduates would go. Uh, agronomy as well, so more science-based uh, uh, research mm -hmm. in terms of agriculture, but also a lot of sales and service positions. Um, again, livestock, uh, crops, marketing and management, and, and research as well. So, so there is a, a quite a wide variety of, you know, uh, primarily uh, agricultural focus, but also those ancillary services and uh, sectors that support the agriculture industry here in Canada. From our industry partners, there's a lot of growth in technology, a lot of growth in software. Um, so the business side of agriculture, um, you know, is critical for for success. So we've really taken the time to understand uh, which of those pieces maybe don't exist uh, currently in agricultural uh, programs in Canada, and try to address those gaps again in this program. So again, technology integration um, and and you know, we don't have it here, but we're also anticipating a companion program to this in the next year, which will focus on agri agricultural technology, because we couldn't fit it all into this program. And it's a burgeoning field for sure. So, you know, drone, uh, spraying of crops, um, automation, robotics, all of those pieces are really, you know, starting to impact uh, agriculture. And and the, the folks who are working in agriculture don't necessarily have access to training to upskill, uh, to be able to take advantage of those um, uh, uh, new technologies.